Yeah, I had a tough time against CZ. <laughs> we faced each other a lot. A, a lot, lot. A lot. A lot. Of times. Way too many times for my <laughs> for your liking. Yeah, yeah no I doubt. can understand that. <laughs> I got to be honest, when I saw it, I thought it was a misprint. The numbers? Yeah. It, How it, bad they are? It does, look like, <laughs> it does look like that. I get it. I get it. You know what? And I'm all but good. You know I'm, what's crazy is that I don't remember. The only thing that I remember is him hitting the Grand Slam on opening day. How about that? Like, that was like, that's, the, that's all I could ever remember. Like, is because it was just such a big, huge moment. Okay, you know can, what I'm saying? Like, can I ask you about that? So, we love Joe Girardi here. Of course, now imagine the Phillies are former colleague. But looking back on that moment, you get the sign from the dugout that you're intentionally watching. No, walking. I didn't get a sign. You didn't get it. He, well, he did give me a sign, and then he, and then I was like, "What? You're gonna walk Sean Rodriguez?" And then he face. ran out. He came out. He, but Sean Rodriguez, to, to Joe's credit, did give me problems. He Tampa did. always gave me problems. Period. So he ran out. He was like, "I think we should walk Sean right here," and I was like. What's the first inning of the first game? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, no, nah, I mean, I, I really think we should. And I was like, all right, well, you yeah, manage. You, you look at like... the numbers. The numbers were, I mean, it explained it all. It's like, okay, Sean puts good at bats. Yeah, but not in that moment. It could have been anybody. Like, it's the very, this, this is the third hitter of the season. Yeah. See, so I'm not even, like, into a rhythm or anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have a problem with that, CZ. I took offense to it. I was like, are you serious? Girardi, are you serious? Like, I don't care what the numbers say. Like, at least have some respect that it's me coming to the plate. So I'm glad that it went the way the, the way. I knew it was going to happen. Like, I, I was, I knew it was gonna, he was going to hit a home. Is it true or just rumor that he used to send a limo to make sure you got to the park? <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't do that, but I am still expecting at least a dinner. <laughs> For sure. At least a dinner. <laughs> you know. For sure. I, and, I, and, and we and we haven't me and him have you know very little interaction because we played against each other for so long. So and I never got a chance to apologize for um, hitting you in 2009. That was, Man, I, 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 I appreciate that because Thanks, yeah, I, I never I never that wasn't intentional at all. No, I, I, I knew that I knew that that wasn't I, another that's for you moment. CJ. No, it wasn't. But, but <laughs> I, I've been on the other side of that. Yeah, where I watched yeah. C.J. Wilson. He broke Travis Hafner's wrist and I was I was mad about it, so I understand. You know what I'm saying? I understand that side of it. That, that was rough. <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> that, that was rough. I was leaving the league in homers that, at that time, and I, I was uh, so hot, and I was looking forward to finishing up strong. And CC came up with a two-seamer, up and in. We're talking about pitching up and in. And it was nasty. I thought it was going to be a middle-in strike, and that thing just ran into my hands, and it shattered it. I mean, it was dust. So I appreciate the apology. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's professional. That's pro on your side.